Hi, my name is Tara Lee with the City of Surrey. I would like to begin by acknowledging we are here on the unceded traditional lands of the Coast Salish peoples, including the Keitsi, Kwantlen, and Semiamu First Nations. I would like to invite you to join us today. Ross is a volunteer for the City of Surrey and he will be showing you some tips and tricks for pickleball. Hi, my name is Ross and we're running through a few videos on the skills and some drills for pickleball that you can use at home, maybe in your carport, maybe in your basement, uh, against a wall that you can hit the ball against and improve uh, your skill level. This video is going to focus on serving in pickleball and a couple of items that would be important in practicing at home obviously is to have a wall that you can practice and hit the ball against. Uh, on that wall you want a line at 36 inches in height, that's the height of a pickleball net. And you also want a couple of targets on that wall uh, to give you something to actually stroke the ball to and aim towards. A few of the things that are very important in pickleball, the first one being consistency. Crucial to get your serves in. Uh, as in pickleball, your team only scores points when they do serve. So again, important to get that serve in. A few of the rules uh, around pickleball serving is the, the pickleball serve is underhand. It's a forward and it's an upward motion. So it's not cutting across the ball, it's forward and upward. And the paddle also needs to hit the ball when the ball is below your belly button. So you're not going to hit it up here, you're hitting it down. And then follow through is the final thing I would like to point out before we demonstrate a few strokes is the follow through towards the target. Try not to over follow through your swing, but follow through directly to the target. So we're going to demonstrate a few serves now. And uh, so I'm back at this line here. This line is the service line or the baseline and it is 22 feet away from the net. So again, it's an upward forward motion and the follow through directly to the target. And in, in pickleball too, the serve goes diagonally into your opponent's uh, back zone. So just serving that directly to the target. Remember, follow through to the target, bend the knees again and come up uh, with the hit, with the stroke. The other thing about practicing at home is it could be beneficial to just practice straight on. It's a little bit not exactly like in a game, but the ball will bounce back to you. So you hit the ball to the target and it comes back to you. So straight away to the target, following through to that target and trying to hit as close to it as you can. A little bit of a loft instead of trying to line it. On this video we're going to focus on the soft game or the touch game or in pickleball we call it the dinking part of the game and it's really about soft touch and close to the net. Before I demonstrate the stroke for the soft game or the dinking game in pickleball I want to draw your attention to this line that we've uh, taped on the floor here. This line is the kitchen line, the non volley line and it is seven feet away from the wall, from the net. If you go in the kitchen area, the non-volley area in pickleball, you actually, before you hit the ball, you have to let it bounce. Uh, if you're in this area, kitchen, non-volley area, you cannot hit the ball out of the air. You have to let it bounce. If you go outside the kitchen, outside the non-volley line, that's where you can hit the ball out of the air. But for this video, we're going to demonstrate some of the uh, dinking, the soft touch game for pickleball. So what I encourage is just dropping the ball and kind of using a forward motion, bending your knees as you can and lifting that ball so it just skims over the top of the net. And just want to try and lift it, get right down to that ball. And after you do five, six, seven, four hands in a row, then you can move to 
to trying to hit some backhands as well. Back and forth. So you just, again, you just want to lift that ball just over the top of your net line that you've drawn on the wall. On this video we're going to focus on the drive shot and it's a little bit of a different stroke than the serve or the dinking game. In the serve we're doing a more of a loft and in the dinking game we're just kind of touching the ball back to the net. Where the drive shot is going to be more of a line shot, a little more force uh, and we're going to be aiming at just three, four, five inches above the net. I would encourage when you're practicing this at home to only use about 50% of your power as you're driving the ball towards the wall. Okay, we're going to demonstrate a few drive shots, and I'm about 15 feet away from the net, and that's what I would encourage. Uh, and as well as I said earlier, only use about 50% of your power when you're practicing the drive shot towards the net. And you want to hit that target about three, four, maybe six inches above the net. And it's a follow through to the target. So I'm going to drop the ball, and we're just going to hit it towards the, the net and try to hit that target. Following through, Bending the knees and coming up as you stroke the ball. And again, only about 50% with your forehand. And I would just encourage to keep on hitting the ball uh, directly to that target. Try and get, if you can, a bit of momentum going. You can turn and as well work with your backhand. And the backhand would be, again, following the ball straight to the net. And after you've hit about 10 or 15 with your forehand, you've been able to hit it pretty close to the target, you might want to turn and practice a few backhand shots. Uh, most players are going to find the backhand a little more difficult. Same kind of idea, uh, motion, you're going to bend your knees and come up with the stroke. You're going to be focusing on following through to the target, giving it a little bit of lift. So you drop the ball and go through to the target. So again, drop it. So just try to do that another 10 or 15 times on your backhand. 